We're going to face some ridiculousness, especially from our friends in the GOP. In fact, it's already begun. Ben Carson says that marriage equality is what caused the fall of the Roman Empire. <laughs> if any one of them, heaven forbid, were ever to be elected president, they will do their best to enact policies that will threaten you and your families. Marriage equality. For, yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what Ben Carson said. Joining us now, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. R. Albert Moeller, Jr., author of a very important new book, We Cannot Be Silent. Uh, and uh, it is a, a, a book that uh, talks about, uh, uh, well, speaking truth to a culture redefining sex, marriage, and the very meaning of right and wrong in the state of the world today. Hello, sir. How are you, doctor? I'm doing very well, Steve. Glad to join with you. I should also point out you're the president of the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary and an ordained minister. All right. How did we get, we all know where we are. Uh, socially speaking in this country, although the media would have you believe we're a lot further to the left and a lot more accepting of these radical ideas than we actually are. Uh, but how did we get to this point? Well, that's a great question, and it points to the fact that you have to cross a lot of roads. You've got to jump a lot of hurdles to get to anything like the legalization of same-sex marriage. And when we look back particularly to this question, we see a sexual revolution that's been a generation and more in the making and a very concerted effort to propel that moral revolution exactly in these kinds of directions in the last 20 to 30 years. And so what we're seeing is that the acceleration of a, of a sexual revolution that has philosophical roots going back a long way, but really began to affect the elites in this country in the last century and then in the last several decades has filtered down from the elites uh, to mass culture. Uh, to talk about, you know, now if you say that marriage is between a man and a woman, the media will uh, label you as a homophobe and all kinds of evil things. And we know where we're headed. We know that religious institutions, and especially churches, are going to be targeted for their tax-exempt status in the wake of the recent Supreme Court ruling. When it comes to saying that marriage is between a man and a woman, they'll try to take away their, their tax-exempt status. That's the next step. Um, to talk about the, the homosexual agenda, uh, and, and now this whole deal, we're now in, in California, they're about to, uh, I think it's California, they're about to let uh, people who believe that they're women, even though they're men, use female bathrooms where young girls might be in. I mean, uh, how, how did we get to that place? Well, you raise a, a several really important and urgent issues there. The first has to do with religious liberty, and, and there's no question that every society uh, will legislate a certain morality. People will say you can't legislate morality. They're ignoring the fact that all legislation, in one sense or another, legislates morality. The question is not whether or not we're going to legislate morality. The question is, what morality? And what we're seeing now is, is a, an entire moral regime move towards coercing those who, by conviction, can't go along with this sexual revolution. And as you said in the beginning, Steve, that's millions, tens of millions, you know, certainly well over 100, 150 million Americans even by the polling that they're demonstrating. Right. You also use the phrase homosexual agenda, and we're told these days that that's, uh, that that's illegitimate language, but it's the very language that those who began that movement were using themselves. And uh, so in my book, for instance, I document the very concerted political, psychological, and psychiatric, the very concerted uh, moral, the very concerted political and, uh, and entertainment cultural uh, agenda that was behind this, and, and I, I cite their own writings, and that agenda won't stop with same-sex marriage, and that's something we need to recognize. There, there are there are attempts, I'm sure you know, that uh, to to not not mainstream yet, but I but I've been talking about it for years to legitimize pedophilia, to change the name, to legitimize it. I mean, it's really scary stuff. But I, we have a minute left, and I don't want to uh, let you go without this. Uh, the, the the book also talks about uh, what people can do. What, how they could correct this for their own lives in society. Talk about that. Well, I think the first thing is to recognize that God has a plan for our sexuality, and by the fact it's, it's God who gave us the plan, it's perfect. And, uh, and so what we need to do is to help lead people towards an understanding comprehensively of the goodness of God's gift of marriage and sexuality. And honestly, we've got to demonstrate integrity of, uh, of faithfulness in our own lives, or we won't even have the credibility to speak to the larger culture. So as always is the case, we've got to make sure that in our lives we are living out that sexual morality that we believe to be right and righteous and that which leads to human flourishing. 
And then we've got to be there with the arguments when it matters. Right. And, and that means not just culturally, but where we're in conversation with a very real human being. Doctor, uh, I look forward to speaking to you again. Great, look, uh, great luck with the book. We cannot be silent, folks. Doesn't matter what religion you are. Pick it up if you care about the future. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Steve. Good to be with you. We're coming back. You've probably heard about the shocking new book, Unlikable, The Problem with Hillary by Edward Klein. Unlikable has already skyrocketed to the top of the bestseller list. The author, Edward Klein, wrote the number one New York Times bestsellers, The Amateur and Blood Feud. Now in Unlikable, Klein offers a stunning, powerful expose of Hillary Clinton and a floundering race for the White House. Klein reveals the angry rivalry between Hillary and Barack Obama. Now, Unlikable retails for $29.95, but you can get it with our free offer. So get this almost $30 value free today. Just go online or call the toll-free number on your screen. With the 2016 election fast approaching, you need to get Unlikable and be armed with the truth about Hillary.